everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. Actually, I feel great. That's for mm, girls. Like, look at me. Not in real life. Anyway, we're moving on. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Now, I know it's been a while since I posted. A lot of things have changed. I've been taking a little tiny bit of break off of YouTube, but I'm back. I've been wanting to play this game uh, ever since the trippy fucking Monica thing, the Monica. Hey, don't forget to save your game. Well, yeah, uh, we're back and we're back with the new setup. Enough of me talking. Let's back it. Get back. Uh, let's back in the game. Let's get back in the game. Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her inflection is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something she's done before, or is this simply is it simply natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sayori looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes the. Rec Finally, Monica finishes the recite. Rec recite what? Finally, Monica finishes the recite. Ah, er oh, whatever. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath of smiles. That that was so good, Monica. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Sayori? I'll go next. Oh, Yuri is fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stand up. stands up. So I forgot, this is right after we did all that, uh, all the weird poems. And then she said, oh, we got this, uh, we got the little recite poem talent show that we're doing for the whole school or something like that. Keeping her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It's it's called uh, After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes as we as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. I forgot. Yeah, she was really out of it. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed in her books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists, as I thought it was wrist, <laughs> twists and turns in its structure that she enunciates with perfect time. How can I say enunciates and not say rec recitation? Recite Fuck me. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her as if she bewildered even herself. I... It's up to me to save this situation. Of course me. I'm the first to start applauding. Yay! F fucking pr proud of you. Everyone joins me afterward and we give Yuri the recognition she deserves. Y'all are fake. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Sayori hops out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Sayori, it's a lot harder than I thought. How did you guys do it so easily? Ah. Uh, try not to think like you're re uh, reciting to other people. I can say recite reciting, but not recitation. Sayori begins her poem. Somehow it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. If I was to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But hearing it come from Sayori's voice almost gives it a new, whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. <laughs> it's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I thought I knew through and through. Sayori finishes and we applaud. Woo! Yeah, yeah, your mom. Good job, Sayori. 
<laughs> Even Majin Kun liked it. Yes, I, I guess. I don't know what it was. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayori. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nice. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. I don't understand. In other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little bit of force behind them depending on what you're reading. Okay. Oh, I know what you mean. That's, well, I, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. The next time, I'm going to make you pick a poem that challenges you a little more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know. Okay. Now who's next? Matsuki? Hmm. Don't make me go before Meijin Kun. It's not like I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let Meijin Kun lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. Fuck. Okay, Natsuki. Natsuki. It's fine. It's, it's fine, fucking bitch. But it's not like I have much selection of what to read, you know. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. Actually, I feel great. That's for mm, girls, like, look at me, not in real life. Anyway, we're moving on. I recite my poem. Since I'm not exactly confident in my own writing, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyways. Woo, yeah, your mom. Sorry, I'm not good as, I'm not good. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. True. All right then, that just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called, it's called, why are you all looking at me? Ah! Anyway, the poem's called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well when spoken out loud. Natsuki finishes and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Oh, well, do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people will be way easier. I can't put on whatever face I want for other people. Or I can, too. I didn't see that. But when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. Really? That's a surprise. Yeah, same here. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I, I think it would be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, you won't have that much to worry about for the festival. It's a festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what I'm, what it's like now. I thought I said I'm like now. That's weird. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you'll be reciting. Jeez. I should probably find some uh, some other poem to recite then. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already plenty surprised you're putting in all this effort for the club. Yeah, it's hard for me to read. It, ma it makes me really happy. Okay, Monica, with your creepy fucking ass. Ah, yeah, no, no problem. Oh. Okay, everyone. Okay. <laughs> I think that's about it for today. I know that the festival is coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue, you know, working on that or continue that. I don't know why I'm adding words. As for the festival, we'll finish playing tomorrow and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Whoa, a whole weekend. Monday's the big day. Monday. I can't wait for Monday. I can't do this. I can do Oh yeah, I can do this. I can I can do this. Where you go, Sayori? Yep, she's all ready. Look at you two always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez guys, don't make a, such a big deal out of it. 
It must be a little nice, though. I, all you jealous girls over... Oh, God. Well, uh, how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Majin Kun. You don't have to say it. Whatever, let's go already. Ah. I walk home with Sayori once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori. Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, uh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something earlier. I like how we get to... I mean, Sayori fumbles with her words. So, let's just say that one day Yuri asked to walk home with you. What would you do? What kind of question is that? You're kind of putting me on the spot here. Ah, uh, she just wants to know. She wants it, buddy. Ooh, I will walk home with Yuri. I will walk home with Sayori. Don't do that to me. Uh, Sayori, uh, Yuri's fuck Yuri, but yes, yeah, Sayori's the best friend. So you gotta, you really think I ditch you for Yuri? Ah, uh, but she's so beautiful and smart. Jeez, I already see her in the club every day. Yuri would deserve it if she wanted it. So Sayori, I've already made up my mind. I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what's the point in speculating something that's never gonna happen? Hmm? The conversation trails off. Whoa, were you talking about Yuri and you or Sayori and you? Because bro, I'm controlling you and I want to, you know, you can't say these, you suck at talking to girls. What is wrong with you? I suck at talking to girls. Ooh. It's time for the poem. All right, we're just gonna pick, I don't know, there's nothing, uh, I guess ocean? Okay, Sayori. Okay, we're gonna pick Sayori ones because I think we're taking the Sayori route. I don't know if it, this has any uh, pain for her. Okay, Valentine, mm, death. Oh, uh, candy. Okay, we're picking a lot of new Natsuki things. Romance. There you go. Kiss. Ah, uh, strawberry. <sighs> Death. Aw, oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry. I just walked into. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. Why did I pause? And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. Ah, I can't wait for the festival. It's it's gonna be great. What? Wait, what? Even I'm confused. <laughs> She's like, eh? <laughs> Weren't you complaining about yesterday, Natsuki? Look at her face. What the fuck? Well, yeah, I'm not talking about our part of the festival. But it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. <laughs> anime, she's into anime. What does that mean? I are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people? I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Monica? Monica? Eh? That's not how you say my name at all. Oh, damn, look at her. Whoa, Monica has a mean face. She has a mean face. Uh oh. Oh. Ah, never mind. Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as funny as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me? Where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room looking down at nothing. I walk over to her. Hey, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Ah... Uh, <laughs> Sorry, don't mind me. Uh, you, you can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything all right? 
Yeah, everything's all right. No, dude, you just fucking kind of blew her off yesterday. Uh, of course, uh, why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for assuming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sari shows a big smile. Lies. Lies. Don't let me distract you for ha from having fun with everyone else. Well, all right. If you say so, maybe I should ask Mako if she noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some papers at her desk. Meijin Kun, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori lately? In what way do you mean? Ah, uh, maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but seems a bit. She seems a bit downcast today. Downcast? Well, oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Mock appears across the room at Sayori, who's idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there's something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Meijin Kun. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really like this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. But this time when I asked her, she was really dismissive. <laughs> Sorry, I, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you knew anything, so I'll drop it for now. No, no, I... It's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about you know, the well-being of my club members, you know, so... Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Uh, are you sure about that? She seemed like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she's just having a hard time bringing it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Meijin Kun. Me? How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well, if you were smart, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sayori talks about you more than anything else, you know. Uh, she's been so happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light was turned on inside of her. What? No way. Sayori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. You're so funny, Meijin Kun. Have you thought that maybe you always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? Oh, I said too much. I'm sorry, what what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Ah, uh, all right. Waka smiles meaningfully. I know she said forget about it, but I already know that I won't be able to get her words out of my mouth, uh, my, my mouth, <laughs> my head. Okay, so we're gonna go till the poems because I'm just gonna start doing these episodes a little bit you know quicker now the longer episodes take a little too long to edit i'm gonna finish till we get to the poems and then once we get to the poems i'm gonna stop this episode after some time passes monica calls out the club room why don't we share our poems now i'm an idiot do two poems okay two poems Ooh, you know let's get some juicy tidbits let's do sayori because you know it's gonna be the end of the episode, so. This is your best one so far. It's really, really nice, Meijin Kun. Uh, thanks. Mm-hmm. Sarah, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything all right? Uh, of course, uh, everything is fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Do you want to nap or something? No, that's silly. Uh, don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, all right. Hey, Meijin Kun, I'm still a little surprised. I really thought you would try writing your poems like the way Yuri does, or even Natsuki. But in the end, yeah, I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. Why? You don't want to get closer with everyone else? Wait, of course I do. Ooh, we're getting into the love, but... But that doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you the most, Sayori. I know you have to sometimes put up with me, and I have to sometimes put up with you. But we have a wavelength, so... Wavelength, what am I fucking saying? But we have a wavelength or something. It's... And this 
is how the poem came up. Came out, came out. <laughs> sometimes it feels like you're the only exciting thing in my life. So sometimes it's just easier to write when thinking about you. Sayori? No, uh, Mason Kun, I, I don't des deserve this. You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? Sayori has trouble keeping her voice steady all of a sudden. If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Sayori, I glance around the room to make sure nobody has noticed. Sayori, I probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me what will cheer you up. Sayori shakes her head. She sniffles and keeps shaking her head. Finally, she gathers herself and puts on a smile. It's nothing, Meijin Kun. It's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> I promise it won't happen again. Just smiles from everyone, okay? That's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayori, tell Maka I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. Let's do, let's do Monica because I, I feel like that will help the story out more. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, how so? No, not the poem. I mean, it's funny how your poems and Sayori's poems have been getting more and more similar to each other every day. I'm surprised you're so in sync with her. Then again, you've been spending a lot of time together lately, haven't you? I guess you could say that. Although we've we kind of grew up as best friends, I haven't been seeing as much of her this past year. That reminds me about how Sayori's been a little bit off today. Yeah, did she tell you something? Uh, well, Meijin Kun, you haven't been flirting with her, have you? Hey man, like, of course not. Shut up. <laughs> I've been treating her like I always do. All right. Just making sure I know how much you care about her. It would be terrible if something bad happened to her. So keep an eye on her. S Monica, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Sayori's been acting so much happier ever since you joined the club. What could have happened all of a sudden? Well, never mind. This really isn't the time to be talking about this. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, all right? Uh, all right. All right, let's... Okay. The lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders the earth, or wanders earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. Lost to drift the sky, victim of current, the current's wind, of the wind. Ooh. Day after day I search, I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twilt sky. Until one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall and I fall and fall and fall even more. Gentle as a feather, a dry quill expressionless, but a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger. The hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I'm thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend, your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat and I pick up a gust of wind. Not as creepy as last time, Monica, I'll take that. I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of my on my mind. So that's what I wrote about, I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? 
you know, there's only one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. That's true. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. Okay, yeah. You mean one-dimensional? Uh, yeah, that. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. I'm scared as fuck for this, okay. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? Okay, so far it's fine. It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or bad, okay or bad, they want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way and it will make, your, make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thank you for listening. Okay, well, oh, thank God that wasn't like creepy as last time. Okay, so, so guys, um, that's the end of the video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for, for uh, sticking with me, sticking with these episodes. I know it's a short episode, but uh, I just wanted a quick, easier way for me to edit. Uh, I've been doing some new things, and I'm just trying to get back into the whole YouTube vibe because... I've just been um, out of it with work and school and just, you know, I'm just trying to get back into it. So I know I've been uh, live streaming on Twitch. So if you have seen my Twitch, go ahead and uh, check out my Twitch, check out my Instagram, um, you know, keep up notification bell, everything. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you guys for watching. You guys have a wonderful day and peace out.